Meanwhile, the NDC is serving notice that it will hold President Akufado responsible should anything happen to Martin Amedu. Now, President Akufado has directed the Inspector General of Police, James Opombonu, to provide the former Special Prosecutor, Martin Amedu, with 24-hour police protection. There's increasing fear and skepticism among residents of uh, Sandema and adjoining communities about the ability of police there to deal with crime amidst 347 electoral hotspots as they also complain about armed robberies. Now, the Bolisa North District, where Sandema is the capital, has 23 of these flashpoints, the sixth highest in the region. This is where former Deputy Minister of Interior and Minority Spokesperson on Defense and Interior, James Argaga, will cast his vote his ballot on December 7. Now, as part of the joining series on security and hotspot communities ahead of the elections, Upper East Regional Correspondent Albert Sorry visited Sandema and came through with this report. The spate of armed robbery attacks here in Sandema have become a source of worry for many people in this town. We can't even work after 7 because of the robbers. The little money you get, they will rob you. These days, the armed robbery case here is very serious. And we as business women, we suffer. We can't travel. And anytime we are traveling and coming to Sandema, and it's, it's around five, we have to sleep in Bolga or Navrongo before. The next day, then we come. Joseph Apawi, a mobile money vendor here in Sandema, is one of the victims of armed robbery. On the 14th of August this year, while on the way home from work, four men armed with a gun attacked him and took away his money, his motorcycle and other valuable items. I closed from work around 6.30 and I was on my way going home. I was almost getting to the house and there were four armed robbers with a gun. So uh, they just stopped me on the way and pointed the gun on me and told me to lie down. I lay down and they collected my bag with the money, removed all my phones, took my uh, Honda motorbike and went away with it. Less than a month later, Teoflos Isaka, also a mobile money vendor here in Sandema, was attacked in a similar manner. On the 5th of last month, 5th of last month, October, 5th October, it was around 9 going, I closed from work, and I was going to the house. Then two guys came with a tot light and a gun and a cutlass. They were fully masked, and they were wearing overall jackets, and then the trousers all were black. Then they asked me to lie down. <coughs> I lie down, and then uh, one having the cutlass use it and hit on my head. Then it cuts me. Then the gunman told me I shouldn't worry. I should just give them the bag. Then I hand over the bag to them. They took all my phones on my pocket and then my wallet. And then they asked me to run. My bag, uh, there was a cash uh, sum of uh, 3,000 eat and then 11 mobile phones inside the bag. However, one armed robbery incident that has left many residents here in Sandema in shock was a broad daylight attack on the Church of Pentecost only two Sundays ago. I think we had closed from service and so uh, most of the congregants had gone. But uh, the, the one who counts the church's money was seated uh, at this corner of the church. So. I also came in and whilst we were talking on the issue she wanted to discuss with me, two young men uh, came into the church whilst we were talking. The top apparel they were wearing was quite, it was black. So initially we thought that there were police officers who had come to make some inquiries about the, the protocols of the coronavirus. So the other one uh, who had a gun with him uh, cocked the gun and then he asked us to lie flat on the floor. Then they took the money that were on the table uh, with a bowl. There was also a bowl that the offerings uh, were inside. So uh, they took the monies, they took everything and then they came and searched us, uh, took our mobile phones and our personal, our personal monies. 
and then they bolted off. When they came out of the church, then they gave warning shots. Then they shot in the air, I think twice, before they sped off. And we heard several gunshots as they went. Not a single arrest has yet been made by the Sandema police, leaving the victims of these armed robbery attacks and even the general public wondering if the police here are up to the task of keeping the peace, especially as we draw closer to the elections. Uh, what I'm thinking the government should do is they should beef up the security situation in Sandema. It's like the police or the security people are reluctant. And any time you report a case, they don't take it serious. It will take some time before. Even my, my case like this, when I reported to them, it took them two hours. And for, by then, the, the, the armed robbers, they, they will find their way. According to the Ghana Police Service, in its recent regional flashpoint matrix, the Upper East Region has a total of 345 flashpoints. The Bursa North District, where Sandema is the capital, has 23 of these flashpoints, the sixth highest in the region. There have been pockets of other recent armed robbery attacks in some parts of the Upper East Region, including Tili on the Bolgatanga Boku Road, Karmenga on the Bolgatanga Tamale Road, and within the Bolgatanga Township itself, where at least two armed robberies have taken place in this month of November. Many citizens of the Upper East Region are therefore worried that insecurity may just be on the rise as the country nears another general election on December 7. Albert Sorry, Joy News, Sandema.